So now in this video, we're going to look at the seven segment display again. So we looked at these two in the last video. These are the common anodes. Luckily, I also have common cathodes. So we'll look at that uh, coming up. But uh, in any case, the main thing is there's a bunch of pins on the back. It's a seven segment display because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven segments for each uh, digit. And there's also uh, decimal points. The ones I have have two decimal points. All the other ones I see online, these I think are all I have personally, only have uh, one decimal point. But uh, in any case, they, they all function the same. There are a bunch of LEDs. Some are common anode though, and then some are common cathode. So we used a resistor and a jumper to uh, test this out in the last video. We'll probably do that in this one too. But to begin with, we're going to start with a diode tester with the multimeter because that is the easiest way to test it. So the uh, red probe stays in this spot for everything but high current with this particular meter. I don't have to do anything there, but uh, I'm going to turn the dial to where you see the uh, diode, the dial, to the diode and the continuity uh, symbols. And you can see we got continuity right there, a little speaker that will beep when we have practically no resistance between the probes. We want to test the diode. And first, let's see if I can get a good uh, test with this, with it floating around. So we put the red probe there because that is the common anode pin. And then I have to put the black probe to one of the uh, cathode pins. So the uh, common, it's common anode because that's the only pin on this side that I put that to. You can see the LEDs light up. Also on this side, we have the common anode on top and then we have cathodes for the other uh, for the LEDs over there so we will put that more positive now the other segment that I have here seven segment this one's common cathode and one thing I noticed was that uh, I have a lone pin right there in the middle whereas this one there's no lone pin there's either two three or four next to each other we have a lone, lone pin right there. And that is the cathode. And also we got the one in the board right there. So let's see if I can uh, get that. And there you can see this one, we have to put the black probe, the more negative to that pin right there. So you can see that. And uh, it was kind of awkward for me to film that. So let's zoom back. We could also just uh, put it, I can put it there and we got the middle pin and then four over there and there's going to be a cathode over here i think it's a little more towards middle i can't really see over there so we got that one and uh so there when you see that we get to zero resistance that means i found the cathode on the other side it's a direct electrical connection you can either plug it there or there but it's hard for me to see over there so now let's turn this off and as I said, these two components work exactly the same, except for polarities are opposite. So let's do the resistor and jumper test. So this one, I got to put to the negative rail, and I just uh, saw where the common uh, cathode is. It is right there. And then this one will have the common anode. So that's third pin down. On the left side, it's basically the middle pin. Either way, even though the uh, pins on the left side there, we got three on top. It's the more middle one right there. So not exactly in the middle, but it's the closest to a middle. So that makes that uh, pretty simple. Now we're going to take this jumper. So this one's a common anode. And we could also put the resistor on the cathode side for this. But it's easier to move a jumper. So I'm going to put this to the negative rail. And then put it there so it doesn't short circuit anything. We're going to do, do the same thing with uh, the common cathode seven segment only this time we put the jumper to the positive rail so now we can just find where the pins are and light up the LEDs and do this side we won't know when we hit the uh, other cathode it's the top pin but it's kinda hard to see so that or no this is the uh, the common uh, cathode I'm thinking of the common anode one. So the common cathode is more in the middle. So it may be one of these two is 
the other cathode right there and then we got uh, a couple more anodes down at the bottom and then so this one again we have uh, the common anode the resistor there so the jumper here is to the negative rail so we could put a jumper directly to the positive rail and then use resistors that will keep the LEDs the same brightness because if uh, we light more than one LED all the current is going through one resistor it's going to split up the uh, current so there we got uh, that one we'll take this jumper also put it to the negative rail and you'll see when we turn on another LED that one's smaller maybe it won't take as much but you might notice they're getting a little the one on top is getting a little dimmer when we light that one so in a practical circuit you'd probably have the uh, the uh, the common so in this case it's the common anode that one's the common cathode you probably have that directly to ground and have all your signals coming in uh, con connected with resistors but uh, then again maybe you want depends on uh, the situation it's easier just to have one resistor right to the common and so as long as dimmer LEDs are fine uh, maybe that's not a problem so in any case these are 220 ohm resistors I'm using a 5 volt power supply the bench uh, power or the breadboard power supply there I have jumpers going from that rail over to here so that we can power three rails directly with this power supply so in any case this is a pretty simple component it's uh, an interesting component though and it is apparently pretty much obsolete which there's a lot better uh, displays out there right now that don't cost all that much either and so I just happen to have these but they're an interesting component to know about play around with them a bit if you you have them as I just showed you could test it with the diode tester or with these and uh, you probably never really use them in a practical circuit you may decide to but uh, in any case you still learn a lot of electronics when you experiment with these basic stuff because advanced stuff is just basically a bunch of basic stuff uh, crammed together and so understanding the basic stuff helps you understand the complex stuff so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video